Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a weekend daily plan with me for Saturday and Sunday, October 23rd and 24th. It is the weekend before Halloween weekend. I just sat down and planned out the entire week uh, for Monday the 25th through October 31st, the Halloween week. <laughs> and when I was planning it out, I realized in order to be able to do all of the homework that needs to get done next week, I actually have quite a bit that needs to get done on Sunday and I need to edit this video and the weekly plan with me video. So I felt really kind of chaotic and felt like I needed to get everything on paper for all the stuff that needs to get done tomorrow and Sunday because today's Friday. Um, and I thought, well, why not, why not just film it and show y'all? I also unfortunately need to announce that I am not going to have any Saturday videos for a while. I technically am only scheduled to post on Mondays and Thursdays, but I've been doing Saturday videos for quite some time. But in November, I have both of my research projects that are due and I'm starting to get a little stressed about them. And then after that, it's Thanksgiving and then finals. And we're going to be doing Vlogmas. So in order to be able to do Vlogmas and have like the mental charge, um, I need to cut back to just the two videos that I'm actually scheduled for. So today we have the daily video and then Thursday will be the weekly plan with me and I'll be back next Monday. Um, so not a big difference because the Saturday videos are, have just kind of been a bonus here lately. Um, but yeah, Vlogmas is coming. I have lots of fun ideas, but this weekend I need to work and I also have some like other plans um, because it is technically fall break. So I thought I would plan it out with y'all in my plum paper daily planner. <laughs> Here is my planner and I just flip over to where the daily pages are. I have so many inserts in here right now. Okay, here we go, Saturday and Sunday. And what I love is the way this week falls is here is Saturday and here is Sunday versus Saturday and Sunday. So I can see it all together. And this is why I love having a daily planner because when I start to feel overwhelmed with everything that needs to get done, I can walk it all off. So let's see, it goes like this Saturday and Sunday. I usually do the time in this section and then to do's here, maybe down here, depending on how much time wise I have. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a little gray dotted line. So that's why I like to do the times here. This section is kind of iffy. This section is kind of iffy. It just evolves based on my needs, but I'm going to start off by filling in things that I have at set times. That's always a good place to start. Let me see if I can zoom y'all in. Okay. So on Saturday, I actually have tickets to go to the Razorback game, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I need to be there at 10 for an 11 a.m. kickoff, so I need to leave my place probably 9.15, but I'm gonna aim to leave my place at nine, so I need to get up at eight. Let's get up at 7.30. So 7.30, just so that way if I'm running behind and anything happens, 7.30, get ready, leave my place at nine, and then 10 is when I need to be at the game for an 11 o'clock kickoff. I'll write that in a second. And that's kind of the extent of it. Afterwards, I am going, let's see. Afterwards, I'm going to my grandma's house. Um, okay, 7.30, I'm gonna write AM routine. And then nine is drive and then 10 i'm gonna do like a little line here and then do like this and go all the way down i'll probably be there for quite some time like this um i'm gonna say arkansas game And then underneath it down here, I'm gonna write that it's an 11 kickoff. Okay, and then afterwards, I don't know how long the game will be, but I'm just gonna say four, whatever time it's over. Um, I'm going to my grandparents' house. So there's that. And I'm just gonna visit them for a little bit 
there's the scheduled times. Um, Sunday, what do we have? 10.30, I have church. And then at 7.30, I'm having dinner with my mom and my sister. My mom's actually coming to stay with me, but my sister is working. Um, so I'm gonna go and meet them and put that just like down here. And then all the time in between can be to work on things. So 7.30 is dinner with mom and Brie, my sister. I guess I'll just try to be because I ran out of space. All right, so there are my scheduled time things. Now let's evaluate what tasks need to get done. And what I love about this is whatever tasks don't get done on Saturday can also be transitioned nicely over to Sunday. Um, so let's see, I need to edit this video and a weekly video and I need to do an in case you missed it graphic. Um, let's see, when would be best to do that? Maybe Saturday? What else needs to get done? I need to email my attorney and then I need to finish reading a book and write a journal for it and do all of the math homework and work on my research. So let's see. Math homework definitely needs to go on Sunday. The reading and the journal needs to go on Sunday, but some reading can be done on Saturday. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I'm also going to need to do like laundry and change my sheets and all the Sunday things. I really think I need to put edit videos on Saturday and read. Finish reading. That's what I need to do. So... I've been using this darker marker from the Crayola Colors of the World Skin Tone Pack. It's Deep Rose, and I just do it for dots. So, mm, I'm back and forth. I use this to draw headers, so let's just do this. Schedule and schedule. And then up here, I'm going to write task. And then I use this. That's the medium almond. And then I use the light medium rose to do subtitles. So this is going to be task. And then I'll do another one for the daily cadence. And I just will write TDK. And then I use this to make my little dots in the deep rows. So I need to edit Monday, edit Thursday, and do it in case you missed it. Oh, and update link tree. And I'll skip a line. So let me write that in. And then I will do another little header for homework which my main homework is just going to be finish reading He Was Some Kind of a Man, which is what my Western paper is over. So let's say homework. Sometimes I write homework, sometimes I write school, sometimes I write study. It's all the same. And then, so the title of the book is He Was Some Kind of Man, so I just abbreviate it by writing He Was Some Kind of Man, H-W-S-K on it. I need to finish that and then down here I'm just going to make a note that I need to email my attorney and I think that's going to be about all that I have time to do Saturday night assuming I don't get any sort of plans because if somebody texts me and asks me to go out and do something I will but I don't know that that's going to happen because I'm kind of to the point where like People my age don't celebrate Halloween, but they feel like they should. I, I don't know. Like, we're in between ages. We don't have kids, but we're still, like, feel like, I feel like I'm too old to do stuff, but, it, like, to wear a costume and go out, but I don't have kids, so it's a weird time being 23. <laughs> okay, let me just pull out my iPad and show y'all. 
So this is where I've kind of been making notes of what needs to get done. So edit weekly and edit daily. The other video that's coming on Thursday is a weekly video. Um, I've got email my attorney. Finish reading he was some kind of man. And then, okay, yeah. On Sunday, I need to do my math homework and research and write that journal for this book. So let's go over to the task. And is there anything not school related that needs to get done? Yes, yes there are. Um, and it's not listed out on my iPad, but it's just gonna be home stuff that I do like every, every Sunday, like laundry and changing my sheets and vacuuming and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna write task up here, just like I did for Saturday. And then I'm gonna take that, what is it? Me light medium rose. And this is homework. And, well, wait a second. Because I don't know how many lines the homework's going to take. So, I need to do the journal for the book that I finished. He was some kind of man. I have math homework due Monday, math homework due Wednesday, a discussion board for my math class due on Friday, and a quiz due on Saturday. I'm going to try and knock out the entire week of my online math course on Sunday because I need to focus on a couple other papers and my research which you'll see I kind of time with that in the weekly video that comes on Thursday I just filmed that so it's coming on Thursday so homework just to stay consistent with Saturday um okay the he was some kind of man journal and then I have to write a paper over it later this week but just a journal which is like one page today uh, journal and then all my math stuff so let's write that in real quick okay so if we check in with my to-do list um, and I literally I just keep this at all times and as I think of stuff that needs to get done I add it here so that it doesn't stay in my head he was some kind of man the other thing I have is to outline my Western stories, which probably needs to get done as part of my Western research. I probably won't worry too much about, um, I'd like to get some of my seminar research done, but I don't know if I will. I'll just write, I'll skip a line because this is stuff that needs to get done, but doesn't have a due date. And that is to outline my Western research and work on drafting my seminar research. I have two, two research projects. I feel like I say that all the time, but it gets confusing. So two research projects. Okay, and then back to the light medium rows. And we're just gonna write in what needs to get done around my apartment. So I'm gonna write home. And that includes, um, Washing my sheets, doing my laundry, and vacuuming. And I would normally write wash and fold, but there's only three lines. So I'm just going to do laundry and sheets and vacuum. And I always misspell vacuum. I don't know if that's right. I always try and put two C's. Is it two C's or two U's? I don't know. Yeah. I really doesn't matter because I've already wrote it, but we can check. It's two U's. I spelled it right. Okay. And that's everything. Because if you look, then the next thing is going into stuff that needs to get done next week. Um, so, none of that pertains to this weekend. There is there is a weekend. I feel way better just by doing this. Because all of this stuff is in my head. And I started realizing that all this needs to get done in two days. And I'm also going to the football game. And I'm also going to dinner with my mom and my sister. And I've also got church. And I'm also going to go see my family. And all this stuff needs to get done. But now I can see, okay, this is the time I have to work on things. Um, most of this will probably get done in the evening, which is fine. Um, and then here's this. I guess I could write like 12.30 to 6.30 homework. Um, and there's that. I'm not even going to use this top three lines up here because... 
I've put all my tasks over here and I just need to see them all together. I could put what the top three most important are, but then I just have to check it off twice. I don't need to use this down here because I've been able to allot all of my stuff. It's a busy weekend, but it's because there's a normal amount of things to do with a small amount of time. There's different types of busy. There's busy where you have a whole lot of things to do that will take a short amount of time, or you have just a couple things to do that will take a large amount of time. This is kind of a medium balance. So sometimes my to-do list, I need to use this box or this box, but I do not do not. So there's not actually that much on the list. It's just time consuming that I don't have. I really do love the way this looks and I wish I could get a year round of the pink. That would be so great. I would snatch that up in a hot minute, but instead we're going into yellow and then like three months of blue and I'm not here for it. So I'm thinking about using some cloth and paper neutral inserts instead of the three months of blue that Plum Paper offers. But for now, I'm loving the pink and I really love using these markers. If you're curious which three I have, it's, I have the whole big set, but these are my favorite three to use with this color scheme. It is a deep rose, light medium rose, and medium almond. And you can see it just plays off really well. Okay, I hope this was useful. You got to see how I break down all of my thoughts, all of my to-dos into a two-day time span. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Have a great day. Have a great Monday. See you back on Thursday.